Hello and uh, welcome to my little tutorial for how to add these overlay stats to Insta360-1X videos. It works with any other camera, so you're not limited to the 1X feature, but uh, they just released this stats overlay uh, to their new phone app, but it's quite uh, limited to say. So what you need, you need a camera recording the video and you need a device that records the GPS data. Uh, sometimes I use my Sony Action Cam, it records in a log file, uh, NMEA simple text format, or for this one I use my mobile phone and uh, an application called Ultra GPS Logger. It's not a free app, but you can use any free app if you want, as long they can record in GPX format. So, how I do it is uh, basically I, I just do quick segments for in capture mode in the One X Studio, it's in beta yet, so it still has some issues. It will be released soon, I think. Uh, maybe it's already released. Uh, so once I save, export all these little segments, I use uh, 150 megabits per second. It's an overkill for a 1080p video, but it's since we're gonna export so encode the video. You want the highest bitrate you can. So once you've done it, I already have them prepared to not bore you to death. Then you just go to verb, you import these files here with import other. Uh, I already have them imported so I'm not going to show you but uh, the one thing, uh, if you import it, then it will go this optimizing. You can cancel that because it's a 1080p video but once you're doing a 5.7k video like uh, 360 uh, recording because you can add overlays to 360 as well same way uh, then uh, you might want to do that because if you create a 720p and very low resolution uh, video but it's really fast to edit and once you export it will use the high resolution file so it will not slow down your uh, editing but it, you will still re retain the high quality for the export Blah, blah, blah. So here I have, I already <laughs> set up my little video because uh, it takes uh, a bit of time to do it. So once I have all these segments imported, then you need to import the GPS data. Now uh, you go in here in Gmetrics and data. You probably don't have days here. Uh, the only reason why I have because I, I already have the Gmetrics data imported. So you go import Gmetrics and then if you do this, if you just import the one that you had from directly to the phone, you might have the issue that it's not importing anything. So you can see there's no data at all here, nothing. So that's because sometimes it cannot read the format properly. So that's when you need Garmin Basecamp. You just uh, import the data in collection. So you import this one. And it all silence is here. You can even fix some parts if you want. Like you see here is uh, a bit off. You go move point and then just get it right. And then once you've done everything, you're happy. Then you go, you see this bike ride, and you go export, export selection. And here I have, it's already exported. Then you again go back to verb, and look import on my computer. And here I have this bike ride saved by the base camp. And ta-da, it's all there. Uh, then let's use this log. Okay, uh, you also need to synchronize your data. Um, sometimes you're lucky and it's perfectly aligned, sometimes it's way off. So how I do it uh, with the metric sync, you just find a place like, you see here I'm crossing the road, so it's like really easy to find here as well. You see it's a bit off, because here's the road. So I'm pulling this one on the road, and now it's synchronized. It's good. You see now, 
this is where I'm going up on this part and the same you can see here uh, unfortunately you have to do this manually to all segments all small segments it's not easy <laughs> and once you're done you can uh, start adding this so-called gorgeous and um, just go data let's say I want to add one more speed for some reason and I just pull it in you just go and place it anywhere I already have it here so I just delete this one and you can use a template if you want uh, I don't like them so I don't use them I think maybe you can create your own template for later use I never tried never so I can't comment on that but yeah you can even edit them by clicking this little icon you go to uh, appearance or if you choose here instead of the gorgeous you go appearance then you can recolor it the color you set is for all separate gorgeous so it's it's global and uh, the gorgeous as well are global so they're not so one thing you set here like look I move this one here then it's moved there as well so everything you do with these are all global not just for per segment oh, like there. <laughs> sorry it took me a bit why now uh, if you recolor you can see that it recolors all the gorgeous not just uh, the one selected so probably is to keep it like you know like a global design blah 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 uh, once you added all these you can add a transformation between the segments I use the crossfade that's the easiest uh, if, if there's no clip before or after like here at the beginning then it will become fade in and it will become fade out uh, luckily for this one you don't have to set each you just say apply to all then it will go crossfade one sec or fade in one sec or fade out one sec but for fade out I like a bit longer like five seconds it's just more smooth in the end um, you can also add a soundtrack here like I added this song old school I like it if you add a soundtrack just make sure you lower the audio because it's normally 100 person which means together with the soundtrack you will hear all the noises everything that the camera recorded and you might not want that so I just apply to all then it's silent or in all videos and technically there you go that's all uh, you can check your track here on the map it's fun to see where you were in so easy like this it's really easy nothing major you can do all on your computer your because stats you can only add on your phone on for the insta 361 x which i don't know it's just makes things harder i like to edit on computer people like to edit on phone whatever this is if you like me you want to do it on computer there are more gorgeous if you want like uh, there's the funny cow one or like uh, these are more templates or if you go into here gorgeous click plus then you have this cotton cow if you want or a whale spouting out your speed Ta -da! or flame ball effects mm. yeah so it's easy like that and then you have your video Ta -da! I will leave the download links uh, down in the description so you just click and download them all the software I so show you are free it's coming free from Garmin and Insta360 on X <laughs> and uh, yeah once you finish just export the video I don't need to explain this you know how it goes and enjoy I uh, hope this little tutorial helped you and if you have questions let me know in the comments and thanks for watching bye